All right, so now I'm recording. <laughs> so, the step you miss, wiping your face, especially if you have trouble with greasy skin, uh, like I do. Second thing, put on your primer. Uh, third thing for me is to do my eyebrows. It also helps to have like a little mirror. Good God, this is dirty, but it works. Uh, do not start here. Start midway through the brow. And then work your way to the front. As you can see, I'm actually starting to have an eyebrow. Uh, uh, one thing that definitely helps is having a brow that's already shaped and cleaned up. So all you have to do is follow the natural lines that's already there using a brush that's a little bit lighter than the actual color of your brow because anything darker it starts to look a little bit cartoonish and that is not what you want like you can already see the difference of I can see this brow versus that one that's barely there And personally, I try to get my brows as the same as much as I can, but naturally they're not. They're not in any way, shape, or form. The same shape, the same thickness. And so I try to compensate for that. Sometimes I do have to redo my brows because it's uh, not working out at all. So, yeah, because look, this one is thicker right here. And that one isn't. Like a professional makeup person could probably do this uh, with no trouble. But I'm not a professional. I'm just an amateur playing around right now on YouTube. Because it's a pandemic and I'm bored. Second step. Clean up the brows. Use some concealer. Some people use a shade like a little bit lighter. Uh, I just use my regular, what I put all over my face. And when they say shave the brows, clean them up, I'm just going on the outside of the shape I've already created with the pencil. I go over it, I go under it. Make sure I have pretty decent light so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. And the point of concealer, at least for me, is if there's like errant hairs or I made something a little too thick, I can thin it out. Make it look somewhat more natural. I'm doing this just pretty much just puts the makeup. Pressing it into my skin. So it's just not sitting there. I wish I had a better camera so you can actually see like the details, but you get what you get. You don't make a fit. <laughs> I 
One thing I will say, it took me quite a while to get semi-decent doing this. A lot of days just sitting with this little mirror and doing my brows. Just like anything you do, it takes practice to get somewhat competent. At least competent enough to fool people, make you think you actually know what you're doing. I'm relatively happy with my brows. Move on to the next phase. And trust me, I have no trouble going back in to fix a brow or two. <laughs> Add more concealer. To get the right look. And when I feel like I'm not lopsided or lopsided enough, I move on to the next step, which is applying a full face of makeup. So what I tend to do is to go with a lighter color, what they do on YouTube. <laughs> lighter color of concealer under the eye because I have dark circles can't see them now because I'm actually getting sleep weirdly um, dark circles under the eyes especially to hide the fact that you're waking up three o'clock in the morning worried about if that cough or sneeze is the Rona And it looks weird, but that's fine, because you're going to blend it in, blend it into your face, under your eyebrows, not under your eyebrows, under your eye. As my daughter taught me, the reason why they call it beating your face is because you're literally beating your face. <laughs> I'm sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies, and it's okay. But I'm getting my eyelid too. Because <sighs> I'm just gonna put more concealer over that. Put on about, yeah, I'm rubbing my nose, but I'm in my house so I can do this. <sighs> yeah, I put on like 40 pounds of makeup. All right, now I'm about to do the rest of my face, my regular concealer. There isn't a, a rhyme or reason to the madness. Just dab it all over my face.
Mm -hmm. I do want to do that too. And get into your hairline. Now, I do have a greasy face, so some days, especially like during the summer months, I put powder on first. Now, I don't like doing that because the makeup tends to start looking cakey. And since I figured this is a tutorial, tutorial I would forgo that step. Today is how quiet it is. I appreciate any noise in the background. It feels less like I'm talking to myself like a freaking weirdo while dabbing my face repeatedly. She's listening to the T-Pain and Little John <laughs> music battle. So she's just over there going. <laughs> All right. So I have full coverage on my face. And I'm happy with that. Next step. The powder that I put over it. I just go at it. And for me, this is how I kind of set the liquid. On my face. <laughs> and I don't know why I think it's probably stress but you can see every pore on my skin dear god but we're gonna go ahead with this tutorial anyway <laughs> uh, okay next up is my highlighter this is my favorite this is my favorite part hopefully it'll show up on the screen I need like an actual camera for this. And pretty much it's just, you know, it makes you look golden in the right light. I use this in lieu of like blush. Like I've, I don't know. I always feel like blush was for old ladies. So I use a highlighter. I know you can see it when I do it like this. Like so much gets lost in translation. Trust me. Puts a nice little dewy glow. All right. Once that is in place, sorry, I'm wiping off powder off my shirt. Because I have 
dark skin and I am a cheapo I often get products eyeshadow products that's very hard to show up on my skin tone so to combat that I use a very light bright concealer on my eyes uh, it's Revlon photo ready concealer Oh, I'm not saying the color, but who cares? Get whatever color works for you. Uh, I will actually like something that's like white, white. But it worked for me. Put this on on my eyelid up to my brow bone. Ooh, you see the difference? <laughs> <sighs> I don't worry about the getting here because this is all going to get blended in at some point or if I have to correct it I'll correct it we go with whatever all right, so my favorite eyeshadow to use, because it actually shows up really good, is my e.l.f., but it's a little raggedy because I've had it for so long, uh, or rather long enough for the glue to come apart. Uh, it gives that number of palettes. So, I'm trying to choose what to do. All right, we're gonna go brownish shimmery. Okay, so here's kind of like the important part. You've gotta have a lot of brushes and you gotta make sure your brushes are clean, you know. I don't know what the recommended amount is, uh, but do it often enough that you're not going to worry about the colors you're using getting muddied because your last eyeshadow is still on there. Okay. Start here with Pat. And really just try to pack in as much color as I can. that it shows up you see you see it beautiful all right let's be a comparison <laughs> this is my first and last makeup tutorial, I promise. Uh, do the other eye with the same color. Same method of packing, packing, packing it in there as much as you can. Over there trying to quietly laugh. All right, so second step. I like to do the dark outer edge first. I don't know when or where I got this one, but it's a Wet n Wild palette, seven three eight comfort zone. It's I probably had it long enough to the point where someone will be shocked that I still use it and I still have eyeballs. Uh, 
but it works. It's a great palette. So, outer eye. Dab. We're dabbing and just trying to keep it to the corner. Trying to leave the eyelid. This part without any makeup because that's where you're going to put your lightest color. Wish I had a better camera so you can get the full effect. I will provide a picture later. I do use the same brush. At least for this, because it kind of doesn't matter once you go darker. Um, it's always going to be the dark color that gets picked up in the corner. I'll try to make sure that both sides are kind of even as far as how far I go into the lid with the dark color, but it's not science. Not even a little bit. Unless you're a makeup artist, I don't think it's going to too much matter to the everyday person. Like, who's this close to your face to see how far you went into your lid? Tell them to back up. Social distancing. God damn it. All right. So now we're doing. Oh, Baku. No. <laughs> The horses come out to play. Uh, that's my blending brush. All right, I have to find my little for my inner eye. We're gonna go with my fave that I'm almost out of. It's like this orangey gold that I love. And I go into the corner of my eye and then dab it on the way out. Hopefully I won't get attacked by the horse while I'm doing my makeup. Corner of the eye, work out a little dark spot. Now, I haven't lately, but you totally can take the same color that you used on in the corner and put it on your brow bone. I do it lightly, very lightly, because I'm going to blend. Alright, so this is my blending brush. And pretty much. I just mix it all in. Uh, you can start from your corner and work your way in. Pretty much you're trying to soften any harsh lines. With the makeup you just put on. So that it looks more like a gradient than something harsh. It really is just a soft one not the makeup. No. Wow. Stop it. You better. Jasmine, be patient with the horse. He can put his whole, my whole wrist in his mouth, Ma. <laughs> he was trying to eat my wrist. <laughs> Bob. The horse. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my head. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm being lazy. Usually I'll put on liner. I'm recording. Uh, my son just came in. Usually I would put liner over my eye, but I'm feeling lazy today. Uh, we're just going to go straight to the eyelashes. 
Now, everyone recommends that you use uh, tweezers to apply them. I find that uh, I have trouble with tweezers. Applying with tweezers, rather. It's much easier to do it with just my fingers. Really, just go look, check out a YouTube video for how to apply eyelashes. That's not going to be this video. Bring me some. <laughs> Have children, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Close my eyes and play. Mm. Jasmine. I really want to say in front of my salad. But siblings, they said, give your child a sibling. They'll get, they'll get along. They'll love each other. No, what happens in my house is that they fight over petty, stupid things constantly. And then you're the referee for life. Anyway, eyelash applied. My daughter is currently standing over me watching to see what's going on. <laughs> Have children, they said. <laughs> uh, next eyelash application. The faith I am mostly surprised, uh, Loki hasn't tried to come over here. I'll get him to come at the at the end if he doesn't come over before then. Cause you know, come on, it's a cute dog. Jeez, let's do that. That'll be your reward if you're still watching this twenty seven minutes later. God bless you, everyone. Like you're supposed to wait for the glue to get tacky and blah, 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 blah. Ain't got time for all that. Put the damn eyelash on. Make sure it ain't sticking up in no weird way. And go on about your business. I will say I do use the tip of my finger to get it situated on. So that may be why they recommend tweezers because they do the same thing and they can be easily sterilized. But I live a reckless life. And so I have lashes on. Uh, you can also like put mascara on your eyelash before you put the lashes on to make them look thicker, to make them blend or whatever. So, the last step usually when I'm here is the lipstick. You guys are always asking me about my lipstick, so I'm going to try to make sure... I do this part right. So this is a Rimmel. Girl, don't ask me. I just know how to read words. I don't know how to speak them. Uh, Rimmel London. It says Rimmel London SW194DR. Um, lasting finish lipstick. 124 Bordeaux. 
Bordeaux. And this one is NYX Duo Chromatic Chromatic. I wonder what the fuck that means. Uh, DC LG06 Gypsy Dreams. It's probably going to end up, yeah, it's going to end up looking backwards. You won't be able to. <laughs> this is why I don't do tutorials. Anyway, so I usually just mix and match my lippies because I can. So I do the outer line. I leave that part bare. And I don't know why I do it. It just seems like a fun idea to mix and match lipsticks. I mean, if you're going to play in makeup, play. And sometimes I like the color, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it adds stuff, sometimes it just, you know, it gives it a nice little undertone that you can only really appreciate in person. You can kind of see it, kind of. Sorry, you guys can't appreciate it because you're not here with me physically. And so... That is how I put on my makeup, and hopefully you learned something. I don't know. I was bored, and now I'm going to go um, have a beer and annoy my children. Good night.